Hey YouTube, um, I've recently become aware that we're in the uh, the midst of the collapse of the second uh, globalization. Uh, you know, with the internet, you know, you can be led from one subject to another, and uh, I found myself reading about um, the first globalization, which had a lot to do with you know colonization, and basically before World War One the they say the world was actually a lot more interconnected in, in many ways than it is now. I mean, you could travel to a lot of different, around the world many times, even without a passport. And there's a lot more immigration than there is now. I mean, and uh, there was a lot more free trade and, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, basically the beginning of World War One was the, <clears throat> the, uh, the time that it started to go down, then came the Depression, then World War Two. So... Really, when you look at it, like I said in other videos, history seems to be repeating itself. And now, to me, it seems like um, the second globalization, which basically only just started in the 1990s, uh, seems to be coming to an end. You know, you look at Brexit, you know, rising populism and nationalism, trade protectionism, anti-immigrant sentiments. Whether you agree with it or disagree with it, it could be a harbinger of uh, really dangerous times. Like I said before, the last time that globalization ended, it, there were two world wars and a depression, the Holocaust. Basically, they're saying that, you know, the reason why the Holocaust was able to happen was because so many of the old agreements and uh, governments were being toppled. There was nothing holding things together. And, and you know, it was like a, a vacuum. And it was easy to, to do things like that. You look at Iraq, it's the same sort of situation. You know, it became totally destabilized. The government got taken out and then ISIS. You know, you look at Central America, the Maz and all that. You know, the more destabilized the world uh, becomes, the more these kind of like extremely radical uh, groups, ultra-nationalist, Holocaust, you know, murders, mass murders, all these kind of things can happen and, and uh, the economy will keep going down as... The world becomes more and more interconnected and, and people start to look inward again. Like I said, whether you think it's right or wrong, I mean, uh, it just seems like it's the reality. And, and uh, you know, it's happened before and humans are, are, are the same, you know. We haven't really changed even though we have a lot of technology. If in, in many ways, it seems like we've become more brutal. I don't know, does anybody else think that uh, the second wave of globalization seems to be coming to an end?